Hello, Septosauri. I'm Septum. I'm Sore, and this is us. And today we're going to be checking out Wing Short Film Number One Begin. Yes, we are continuing on the journey through the BU, and we have to tackle all the short films. So we're going to be checking out number one, and then after this, we're going to be checking out number two, just like directly after this because they're so short. Um, and we want to see what these are about so that we can get to blood, sweat, and tears because we are super stoked about that. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> Last time was the was Young Forever and. I wasn't super stoked about that song. We did react to a live version of it on our Patreon, if you're interested in that. That's for our top tier pa patrons. But uh, that was really fun because that was the one where ARMY surprises BTS yeah, um, they sing in Wembley it. Stadium and they sing it to them. That was that was really cool to watch. So, yeah, it's been a minute, I think, since that we even checked out Young Forever for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm kind of excited to kind of get back into this. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the BU. And so I'm, I'm just excited to see where it takes us. Yeah. The realms of day and night. Two different words coming from two opposite poles mingled during this time. That was cool. Ugh. That was unsettling. Yeah. That's dope. That's really cool. I really like that painting. Me too. my brain that was cool that was really cool that was awesome i really like that painting okay i'm really i'm okay i'm awful at this kind of stuff so i'm gonna let you interpret yeah go ahead what are you thinking ah you think there's enough there to yet to interpret well just looking at this it makes me feel like that's him in his afterlife okay and he's being confronted by certain things it was the wings sure that made me think after that, that it was the after. Because I was thinking immediately, I went to nightmare, more of dreams or yeah. visions. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, I could see that with the wings for sure. Yeah. And then, like, looking at that art was like confronting all of the aspects of himself and then setting it on fire. Because a lot of the times when people do see like every facet of themselves, they can. It can not necessarily be the prettiest thing yeah. to look Mo moving at. Moving on from like the old you. 
Exactly. And confronting all of the ugly. Cleansing your With soul. all of, like, the beautiful. Yeah. Because everybody has, like, all of those things inside of them. And then looking at them all at once would be, like, overwhelming and upsetting, but also kind of, like, liberating and beautiful. Coming to terms with, like, who you've been and the choices you've made Mm -hmm. and what you've done, maybe, you know? And then setting it on fire, I was wondering if that was, like, cleansing it, you know? Yeah, it was, like, fire is oftentimes used as, like, a cleansing. Yeah. Um, I kind of feel the same way. And, like, of course, with, like previous videos and stuff they've all been through so much mm-hmm. up to this point in the bu yeah. you know what i'm saying so yeah maybe that's what it's about yeah that's sure. just the feeling that i got and i'm sure there's lots of ways to interpret it and i'm going to assume that all these short films are going to be each one kind of yeah. coming to terms with like who they are at the moment yeah, and trying to move seven forward of them right so. so yeah let's see if we're right, if, if our um, assumptions are right about that yeah. My parents' house made up one rhythm. This rhythm was familiar to me in almost every way. Mother and father, love and strictness, model behavior, and school. Hmm. Okay, so they're going to change the dots. Which is pretty cool. With what RM said at the beginning made me think of like the loving family home life and like school structure and how he was saying that that was his home life. But then the name of this one is lie. So I feel like that was a lie. Right. And that's not the kind of home structure it was. And it looked like he felt smothered and controlled and then i couldn't tell if the pills were a form of escape or a further form of their control yeah i was kind of getting the same feeling and then it also gave me the like in a feeling of um just like mental health issues in general where maybe the overbearingness led to kind of like anxiety and just feeling constricted and stuff because of course when you think of being free you know wilderness so there's like the the picture of like the forest and stuff that he was looking at and they kind of showed him in it a little bit you know Mm -hmm. and then of course the pills which could be maybe that's a medication to that freedom to feel it feel that way exactly like which 
maybe it's anxiety pills even. anxiety anti-depression sure exactly because and then like the whole sterile hospital or, environment yeah you know give me like that yeah i don't know just doctor or even like psych ward kind of feeling yeah yeah, yeah definitely definitely got that and then he was i couldn't tell he kind of like ripped the pillow open and then flung the, the feathers, feathers, but the way that he was like looking at the bed next to him and then flung it, it almost seemed like he was envisioning somebody there, there, which also is a reason that it gave me like a mental health type of thing going yeah. on. But maybe I'm looking too far into it. I'm not really sure. No, I definitely I got the same vibe from that. And then, yeah, I was just going to say that I got like that mental health vibe from this one. And then it seemed like they were really accenting biting of the apple and so i'm wondering what their symbolism for that was like tasting sweetness and like freedom kind of because like i know the apple for like adam and eve it was the first sin so like an apple could be a symbol for like pleasure and things like that so i was wondering if that was like another small rebellion like enjoying the simple pleasures of an apple while looking at that freedom in the picture for what he was longing for. It's kind of the vibe that I got, but yeah, it seemed like his is definitely like the mental health awareness side of things. I really like those. They're really cool. Yeah. I love how artsy they are. Yes. And each one seems like they're really uniquely artsy. They're not yes. there's not much overlap, at least in the first two that we've watched. I can't imagine that the rest are gonna be super overlapping. Yeah, the only reoccurring thing that I saw so far was the burning piano. I was gonna say that, exactly, except for the piano. Yeah. And I wonder if that's trying to link it all together where it's like all these feelings, all these emotions can be released or wrapped up in music. Music. Yeah. And then of course the bur like Again, fire cleansing. So maybe it's like music can cleanse you of those negative feelings or whatever's going on with you. Yeah. You know? Offer the escape. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. I'm excited to see more. Yeah. Because I really like these. And also, let us know if we're like on the right track or not. Yeah. Uh, of course, trying to not spoil much. Uh, so if we miss something that you guys might want to point out or whatever definitely let us know in the comments yes and i'm not sure what has been written on the screen for these oh yeah they didn't offer like a translation yeah there's like the road sign too yeah. and i didn't know what that said maybe that would have been a clue if we could re could read it so just with stuff like that of course fills in Yes, please and thank you. We'll be looking in the comments. If you made this far, please like and subscribe and even that bell. We have a BTS playlist if you want to check that out. We also react to live BTS content over on our Patreon for our top tier patrons if you're interested in that. We also have a new channel called Subdance Sword where we do other things that aren't music related. Uh, the link is in the description below. And until next time. Always remember that we love you. Stay safe and healthy. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, Septisauri. Bye.